Hey, what's up guys? This is Nate Salee with North Kentucky FCA. We have three different types of huddles in FCA. We have the school-wide club, we have the team huddle, where we have a student or a character coach come in and do a team-specific huddle. We also have one of my favorite types of huddles, and that is working with coaches. Uh, we love coaches, we love uh, just their heart and the world that they live in and the incredible impact they have on our kids. And it's one of the best investments of our time an investment investment of your time. I'm so grateful you're interested in leading a coach's huddle. I have a five step process that will give you a quick start and launch you into a healthy, thriving, life changing huddle that you're going to be pumped that you're excited about. The first P I have five P's for you. The first one is to pray. We are in a spiritual battle. We need spiritual resources and our God is amazing and we have access to him. We wanna ask him to get involved, to go before us, and to work behind the scenes, protect us from the enemy, uh, before we wanna enter into taking new ground in the kingdom and seeing God's word change the lives of coaches' hearts. So we need to pray personally. It's also a great idea to ask other people to pray for your huddle. Maybe it's a friend or a family member that you know would have a heart for that. And they can go to nkyfca.org prayer to get on our campus prayer team list. That way we uh, know for sure we have that covered. So we make sure that the foundation of everything we do is prayer. The next P is to prepare, and that is to prepare your leadership. For a club, we need an adult sponsor and some student leaders. For a team huddle, we need uh, either a character coach or some student leaders. But for a coaches huddle, it's always great to have somebody like you with a heart for coaches that knows how to serve them well. So you're already in place as the leader. You don't have to be recruited because you're already watching this video, which is awesome. Now it's our job to help equip you and to make sure you're confident in what's going on. Which leads me to my next P, which is to plan. I have seen the results of not planning. It's stressful. Sometimes it literally costs more money. <laughs> if we uh, don't know how to, you know, if we forget to plan out meals, we go out to eat it for instead, or I can't remember all the different things where I've forgotten headphones or I didn't plan ahead on forgetting something, I have to go buy it. Uh, planning is a really big deal. There's that cliche, if you plan to fail, or if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's totally true. I'm not going to sell you anymore. Planning is a good thing. But get a plan together. How long is this coach's huddle going to be? Always be cognizant of how much time you're asking from a coach, because if you know a coach or are a coach, you know that the, the time commitment is just crazy and the pressure to perform to have a winning program is, is pretty high already. So we need to make really, really clear um, how long are we going to be? How many weeks are we going to meet? How long are those meetings going to be? And what are those meetings going to be covering? So we need to plan our content, uh, how often, and how long are we going to go? We have three incredible tools uh, at your disposal through FCA to use. One of them is three-dimensional coaching. The second one is transformational leadership. And the third one is story form life. Now, if you're just getting started, I would recommend three-dimensional coaching because that casts the vision for coaches to coach their athletes physically, mentally, and spiritually, and just kind of gives them a handle on what can it look like to have a really high-performing team that wins a ton of games, but also transforms lives on their coaching staff and their players' lives and even their family, and then you start thinking about changing the whole community just by building into coaches. So that would be where I would start. We can talk more about that specifics and get you set up, but you wanna plan and have an idea of where you're gonna go. Uh, from there, you wanna promote, uh, promote to coaches, the best way to promote a coach's huddle is, as you might already know, that the coaching world is kind of a fraternity or a sorority, depending on what circles you're talking about. Coaches know coaches, and coaches trust other coaches for the most part. The best way to promote it is going to be having uh, word of mouth referrals. So have two or three people in mind that you know would be kind of your core group, and then have them try to invite one or two other people. We also have a Facebook group, NKY FCA Coaches. It's attached to our Facebook page. Contact me if you're not already a part of it and we can invite more people into that. We can announce and post uh, that we're hosting huddles there as well. And it's a very specific type of group uh, that'll be uh, a good way to promote. Beyond that, you're gonna wanna get text um, capabilities so you can text and send reminder text before you're gonna meet each week. That way you kind of have an idea of who's coming and they can never say, oh, I forgot, because you can be in constant communication with that. 
Beyond that, kind of connected to the plan is our products. We want to be here as a resource to you to equip you in whatever you need, whether that be the content I talked about in the plan, whether that be uh, trying to figure out getting coaches Bibles. If a coach shows up to a huddle and doesn't personally own a Bible, we want to fix that. That is a great investment in our minds. No brainer, we're gonna make that happen for you. And any other thing you would need on just the product side and make sure that you have all the tools you need to be successful. Thank you again so much for your heart to serve, and I can't wait to work with you and see what God does. Thanks so much.